Hi, I'm Carla from Hackberry Tea, and today I'm going to show you how to brew our newest black tea, which is our vanilla Thai spice. If you like Thai tea, we think that you will love this tea. It's very reminiscent of Thai tea. It's got some flavors of vanilla, coconut, and cardamom. And as you can see, it's got a kind of a bright yellow or bright orange color to it. So I brewed it using this infuser. It's cooled down and we'll be ready to pour it in just a few minutes. It's a great tea to have hot, iced, or in the style of a Thai tea. I've tried this hot and it has a, a lot of really, really good flavor. Since the flavors are really similar to Thai iced tea, we're gonna mimic a recipe using our new tea. Now that it's cooled down, we're ready to go. I'm gonna tell you everything that we have. We've got our tea that's already been brewed. I have uh, the tea, this is the loose leaf tea that was used to brew. And then here I have one tablespoon of sweetened condensed milk. And here I have half a tablespoon of sugar. So once you've gotten your tea brewed, you'll pour it in, in a glass jar, whatever you, you want to use to cool down. Once it's cooled down, uh, you'll, you'll pour your tea into your cup with ice. So I'll go ahead and do that right now. Once you've got that poured, you'll pour in your half tablespoon of sugar. And I'm gonna go ahead and stir that up so that it starts to dissolve. And you're almost there. I think what gives it that real, uh, that close to Thai tea flavor is also the condensed milk. Now what's great about you know, any tea is you can drink it how you like. So if you wanna add a little extra sweetened condensed milk or a little extra sweetener in it, uh, you are obviously more than welcome to do that. Look at that, That's a, that looks great. I don't generally like sweet teas, but I think this one may be an exception. Sweet and condensed milk can be very, very thick. So you wanna make sure that it's at room, at least room temperature when you pour it, uh, because otherwise, you know, it'll just be a little bit harder to mix. But if you have it, if you've got it at room temperature, it'll be ready to go. And it'll mix in real nicely like this one. Okay, and once you've got all your sweetener in the way that you, the way that you like it, you're ready to go and you're ready to enjoy. And I'm gonna have a little drink, sip of this because it's really good. I can taste a little bit of that cardamom that's popular in the Thai tea, but I can also taste the vanilla and those hints of coconut, which give it a really unique flavor. If you're someone that likes Thai tea, I think this tea is perfect to add to the tea that you already like. So I really like this recipe because of its simplicity. You have all your ingredients you mostly already have, plus your tea includes all of those spices that come that are very popular with the Thai iced tea. I didn't have to go to the store to get all kinds of spices, it was all already in there. And I really love the vanilla flavor, which I thought was a really great addition to this tea. Again, I think if you are a Thai tea fan, I think you will really love this tea. So if you found this information helpful, uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If you'd like us to show any other tea recipes, uh, feel free to post a comment and we'll go ahead and work on a recipe that I think will interest you and that will bring new ideas to your tea repertoire. Thank you for watching.